Well, right now, Australian and American companies are updating their profit outlooks, and there's a pattern. Tech stocks, in particular, are driving markets to all-time highs. We're talking the likes of Google, Meta, Microsoft and Apple. The mood has sure changed from 18 months ago when all these companies were under pressure from the stock market. So why, when their shares already appear overextended, do they just keep on rising? Josh Gilbert is a market analyst with eToro and joins me now. Josh, always good to chat to you. It is fascinating just looking at an all-time record in America, all-time records here in Australia. Kind of they composed differently, I know, but the tech stocks, certainly in America, have really come into their own. Yeah, absolutely, Ross. And they're, they're sort of continuing to to sort of push forward after what was a massive 2023. We had the Nasdaq up, you know, around about 60% for the year. Um, and it's sort of really led by this magnificent seven. Um, you know, your Apple, NVIDIA, Tesla, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, and Alphabet. These seven stocks are really driving uh, much of the S&P 500. They were the first to sort of really cost cut in 2022, and they reaped the rewards for that in 2023, seeing earnings growth, um, you know, massively increase by about sort of 60% in the fourth in the third quarter of 2023. We're expected to see around about 53% uh, in Q4, uh, and they're really driving the S&P 500. Um, without them, we'd be seeing. Uh, earnings actually declining in the US without them. So they're huge to what we're seeing uh, and, and ultimately keeping these uh, stock markets at record highs. And there's no doubt that they're also, also being driven by artificial intelligence and the emergence of, of this artificial intelligence. You mentioned NVIDIA there, it makes the chips. But all of these companies like Microsoft are getting a massive kick, a new growth spurt almost as a result of this. And that's the thing that is now being priced into their shares. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, 2023 was sort of the, the year of AI. Uh, it was obviously what helped drive a lot of their share prices. And, and ultimately, it was what investors really turned to last year. But now we're really starting to see that come through in you know companies' bottom lines. Microsoft overnight sort of really started to show that their early investments into AI, into you know, the likes of ChatGPT, you know, pioneered by obviously OpenAI, is really paying off. Um, they saw 30% growth in its Azure uh, cloud business, and it also saw profit rise by about 33%. So what it's showing us is that AI isn't just sort of a passing fad, but really it's a revolutionary technology that is making these companies some serious cash. And it's interesting because I remember not so long ago that we actually sort of celebrated when the first companies went through $1 trillion of valuation. Now some of these companies are $3 trillion US dollars of valuation, which just shows not only the strength of their core businesses, but then even the growth prospects of what's to come. Absolutely. I mean, you know, talking there of market caps, Microsoft tipped over $3 trillion uh, just this week and sort of leapfrogged Apple to be sort of the most valuable stock in the world. And, and again, a lot of that is because they were sort of really early on to AI. They made those investments. And it just goes to show that these technology businesses, they aren't sort of resting on their laurels. They're continuing to move from strength to strength. And that happens because they've got these fortress balance sheets where they can continue to innovate and con continue to sort of grow faster than competitors. Um, you know, even in what was a really challenging 2022, uh, they really sort of buckled down, they cut costs first, and they continue to sort of invest in the right areas. And that is paying off right now with the earnings and the revenues that we're continuing to see from these companies. So the question is, can it keep going? I guess that's the issue. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, the, the next catalyst, I think, for tech stocks is going to be rate cuts. Um, that's going to be really important. The, the Federal Reserve, uh, you know, plan to, to sort of see five rate cuts this year, and that's going to be a tailwind uh, for, you know, te technology stocks uh, altogether. But ultimately, what we see is growth continuing for these companies powered by, you know, cloud growth, AI, uh, and, a, and a sort of a resurgence of spending from corporate businesses, whether that's from cybersecurity, whether that's to sort of continue to keep up with, you know, these, you know, emerging technologies such as AI, they are spending big. And we're seeing that in these earnings reports that we've seen over the last sort of couple of months. And we're getting it right now from the likes of Microsoft. And we'll probably continue to see that from the other names such as Amazon and Meta this week. I'll tell you, good to have you on the program, Josh. As always, many thanks for your time today. Thanks, Ross.